Hey guys, Barry here with uh, Geek Out Studio and today I'm going to show you how to take one of these uh, clear cans that I found at um, Home Depot and turn them into basically a Halo or ODST uh, canister, thermo grenade, whatever you want to call it. Uh, that you can attach to your armor. Uh, don't worry, I will put a description, uh, uh, I'll put a link in the description below on where you can find these uh, clear cans. Uh, go back to the original. Uh, as you can see, these are pretty, uh, pretty useful uh, to put and store things, keys, <laughs> cards, wallet, money, uh, when you don't exactly have uh, pockets or pouches on your armor. So, but uh, it's a quick process that uh, I'll do over a, a time lapse. So we'll get started here momentarily. So I start with Krylon 2-in-1 automotive primer. I just find that it pretty much adheres to any surface and really helps the paint bond to the surface. So with something like this where you've got a weird plastic, this is probably your best uh, primer to go with. Okay, next is uh, Rust-Oleum Universal Advanced Formula Metallic Paint and Primer in one. So you're, I'm kind of putting down uh, two primers, but this will help give me the kind of metallic uh, chipping that I'm going to do uh, later on. So or pretty much any metallic color will do. The next thing I do is the same method I use to chip my armor. I have a video on that, so check out the citation if you want to see the full method. Basically, I'm just using a one-inch uh, chip brush and Woodland Scenics liquid rubber or liquid latex to add uh, to help mask the paint chips. Uh, you do want to let this uh, the latex dry probably a full 24 hours before you apply the next coat of paint. The next uh, color I use is just a uh, basic uh, white. Uh, this is going to be mainly for the uh, cent uh, center of the cylinder. Uh, this one I'm using Krylon bright white, but again, pretty much any white uh, paint you have lying around will do. This part's pretty self-explanatory. Once the white's dry, I mask it off uh, just using regular blue painter's tape uh, before I move on uh, and apply the color that's going to be on the two ends of the grenade or canister. For this, I used uh, Model Model Masters, sorry, Testors Model Master SAC Bomber Tan, uh, but pretty much uh, any military green or olive green uh, will work for uh, this stage. I just find this was an interesting color and it uh, kind of matched my armor fairly well. Once the paint's uh, dry, just uh, start removing the masking tape uh, and you'll see that 
uh, it turns out pretty well. If you have a little bleed over or anything, that's fine. Now what we're going to do is we're actually going to add the gray striping right there. Any light gray will do. And actually what I'm doing is I'm doing a stippling um, action or just kind of stabbing uh, the brush into place. And that will give you a worn uh, feathered appearance. Again, this method's covered in my armor chipping uh, tutorial, but this is just me actually removing the uh, liquid latex from uh, the canister, revealing the uh, metallic paint and paint chips below. All right, so there you go, guys. That's how you can make um, these little Halo ODST grenade canisters, uh, thermal grenades. As you saw, they uh, come in transparent. Uh, the cylinder, uh, the center part here comes in uh, are, is transparent. So if you're savvy with uh, some LEDs or whatever, you can make a, a glow effect and make them into uh, thermal grenades. I just use them for uh, canisters because uh, the uh, n nice little thing that uh, about these is that they do come with this uh, little slide on clip so all you have to do is just slide it on and it's on there and as you see I just made this uh, little really just belt loop uh, you can cut down the uh, the screws uh, to, for a more flush fit. Uh, I wear ODST and these are on my belt, so <clears throat> I actually keep the uh, the screws there because it helps uh, actually push the uh, grenade out some, so it's not separating my uh, the plates on my belt. But that's all there is uh, to it, and they come out uh, looking pretty nice. So. Let me know what you think. Uh, if you have any other questions uh, or comments, uh, leave them below in the comment section. Uh, and be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.